Hello, I've got a little project that I want to share with you. Got really excited because we received these beautiful screen printing kits um, in the shop and I want to buy one and have a little play because it's fun. Um, so I'm going to walk you through a little project I'm going to do. Hopefully you'll like it and if you do you can try it yourself. If not, then at least you hopefully enjoy watching the artwork happen. So this is the screen printing kit. It's got a little booklet in here with a few instructions of how to use it. Uh, a little screen, which is so ditty and cute. Um, and it's glued down the back. So I'm hoping that's going to be really sturdy and hold through all the prints I need to do. Um, but it's got a really fine mesh there, so I'm excited about that. And then underneath there you've got your paint, a little palette knife and I don't know, is it a squeegee or something? The paint in here is black, but I am going to buy some other colours because my project is going to require other colours. So they don't have a green, so I'm going to get all the colours because then I can mix a really nice green because usually when you buy a green it's not that nice. And this one's not quite a red, it's a bit of a pinky red, which I like more than the actual red. I'm partial to pink, so gonna make some nice colors later. Okay so what we're going to do today is I'm going to print on a tote bag that I've got that I bought ages ago and didn't do anything with so I've taken this photo of my plant at home and I've edited it somewhat so that some of the leaves are bigger and I've already gone and cut out the plant pot because that's going to be my first layer it's going to be my white layer so this I'm going to print first through the stencil with the screen printing and then I've kind of cheated and I've actually traced the picture so I've got a trace so everyone's going to call me a cheat now but <laughs> yeah this is what happens so I've photocopied the trace um, and then I've just started to cut out the bits that are going to be green so I've got my little leaves there um, so I'm going to carry on doing that got all the leaves cut out I'm gonna be screen printing through this side and I think I'm gonna leave this one up here because that is actually a flower and I think I might actually cut it out of this one and have it as one of my white layers so I am ready to get started I've got the kit here the four different colours. I've got a bit of plastic to mix the colours up and my palette which I have had forever. Um, got my stencils so that's my white layer and I'll move that up the way you can see that's my green layer. I've gone and cut out the, some of the stems just to make it easier when I do the lines. I haven't actually cut out the black, so I thought that was going to be a bit intricate. What I have instead are, I've got my Posca belt, so I'm probably going to use these ones to do the outlines instead. And the other things I have is the tote bags, and I've got some paper to put inside them when I paint. We're actually supposed to stick the stencil to the back of this according to the instructions but my print is too big so I won't be able to do that. First things first, I've got the tote bag here. I'm just going to figure out where I want the print to be. That looks about right where I want it to land. And then, oh, I've got it upside down. Look at that. Around. Yes. 
that looks about right on the bag so it's not too far from the top it's kind of like central so I'm just gonna get that out of the way and that's my white layer so I'm using the tracing paper I just thought of this by the way on a whim <laughs> this isn't part of the instructions this is my instructions so it looks like that is in the right place there it's not going to be exact because it is a screen print um, and I'm too impatient to make it exact anyway so that will be the white layer which then I can move out the way and the green layer I just wanted to use the tracing paper to help me line these up so that when I put the green and the white layer together they can at least look like they kind of match <laughs> hopefully that's the plan in any case we'll find out if it works right. so I don't need this anymore they should in theory be in the right place so I'm going to do the white layer first. So there's my white bit. Nice and flat. That's my print. So I'm going to have to do one bit here and then one bit for there. So some white paint. Said to mix it up a little bit, but it looks pretty well mixed. I don't think I need to worry too much about it. So, I'm supposed to put some at the top there. Just to cover the amount that you're doing. So the instruction said to flood it. I don't know whether to use the hard or the soft. We're just going to use one side. So flood it which is that, and then to go over it again, pressing hard, which is what's supposed to get, help the paint go through. So if I peel that off, I have some paint on there, but not as much as I actually need. So I'm going to do that again. Let's see if that's done it. This is the first attempt. Well, I've got paint on there, so that's, I'm gonna say that's a success. So with the other one, get the paint all off this, put it back on there where I need it to be. So flood it, and then press hard. So hopefully that means it's transferred it, it has. So if we take that off, Got our first bit of white. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. <laughs> Don't you just love it when you start a project and you've no idea whether it's going to work or not? So, I don't need those anymore. I'll just set that to the side. What I did not do, which I probably should have done, was to mix my green. <laughs> like this, you can watch me mix my green. This looks nice. I don't know how much I need. I'm gonna say about that much. Good dollop, a good dollop. So let me go. Mm. Yeah, see the other palette did come in handy. I need it here. So this is a question of how green do we want the green? Again, I am making this up on the fly. So don't go by everything I say. And I think I quite like this gradient that's being made here. Ooh, I've got way too much blue. And folks at home, it's not a good idea for you to be mixing your paint that you're gonna about to use on top of the print you're gonna make. 
so yeah don't do as I do because this isn't very wise <laughs> hopefully nothing bad will happen let's get that out of the way this is way too much paint now <laughs> I'm gonna see if I don't mix it too much if some of these colors will actually come through on um, through the leaves okay so that's the leaves there some of them will go over the white bit there all right let's see if I can clean some of this off so that's not quite got everything I'm just going to go ahead and put the green on anyway see if it works and if that white does become a problem I'll just have to stop the video and wash it. Now if only I had gone and bought two screens so that I can do the green and the white separately. Okay, hopefully that's enough paint. I flood the screen. Let's see what's happened. Ooh, it's not so bad. I do technically need to do it again. See, I've got some of the white coming through onto the screen. That's quite nice. Gonna do that again. By the way, folks, I haven't actually done a screen print for many, many years. So this is a new thing for me. Okay, let's get that paint back off onto the screen. I am literally getting paint on everything. <laughs> this is when I'm realizing I did not put on an apron. I am wearing my nice clothing from earlier. I didn't change into anything that can just <laughs> take paint and I'll be okay with it. <laughs> okay, so once to flood it and then again to press hard and let the paint go through. I've missed a bit. I don't know if you see right there. I've missed it. So, and there's a little bit there that I've missed. I don't know if you can see that. So I just need to do those two. So a little bit there and a bit there. better. <laughs> I've lifted off some of my white onto the back of my stencil here. There you have it folks. My first screen print in years. This is so exciting. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. So I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to go ahead and do my other two bags. I'm so pleased. And then once it's dry and I can go over it in pens, you can see there where, the, where I haven't ironed it <laughs> to make it flat. <laughs> but it's okay. It, I'm going to say it adds to the aesthetics and to, um, to the rusticness of the project. So I've got these Posca pens, um, three millimeter and a, no, 1.3 millimeter and a 2.5 millimeter. So PC3M and 5M, they are slate gray because it's much nicer than black.
Oh, wow. Look how nice that is. Do you see that lovely blue coming through there? That's so pretty. I think this one's my favourite, the third one. <laughs> first one in comparison but now I must wait for them to dry before I do any Poscos The three of them with the outlines done of the Poscas. Now I just have to put them in the oven. So I think the instructions were saying 150 degrees for eight minutes. So that's what we'll do next. This is the finished tote bag. I don't know if you caught in the video where I put it in the oven that it was actually the same size as my oven. So it's a bit too close to the edges and this first one got a bit burnt. So uh, that was not good. So for the other ones, I folded them like so, so that they would take up just a little bit less space in the oven. So this one's just come out now. This is the last one. So that's the paper that was inside. Um, I would recommend not leaving it in and actually putting a different paper inside because I found with the second one that I actually got stuck. So if I get the second one up here, I can show you. It got stuck and then the paper got stuck to the bag. <laughs> so I've got paper on that one. Um, the other two are fine. It was just on the second one. Maybe there was more paint on that one. But on the third one, I made sure to unstick it before putting it in the oven. So that one is perfectly fine. Third time's a charm, I suppose. So there you have it. A screen printed tote bag all in a day's work.